Someone's here. Wagram. Lord Wagram. It has been far too long. Wagram, what exactly are you scheming? Your eyes hold such suspicion. I am merely doing what the remnants desire of us. What are you talking about? Before man so much as crawled upon the earth, remnants existed, maintaining balance and harmony. Remnants were treated as divine creations by man, both feared and worshipped. However, all changed with the birth of one who could control them all. As time passed, men grew more and more audacious, treating remnants as nothing more than beneficial tools. <sighs> so foolish are men. Once again, men must fear Remnant's power. They must worship their strength. That is the only role of such unworthy creatures. Now, with the coming of a Remnant that can express his desires, we must listen, obey, and accept all he has to say. Whatever the cost. You say there is a Remnant that can express his intentions? His desires? You mean the Conqueror, right? Preposterous. That's Ooh, impossible. Me. Indeed. This was his home before he awakened. Heed my words. You will leave the Conqueror be. That is, if you value your lives. Wait! What if the Conqueror is planning something horrible? Like taking over the entire world. You're saying you want us to just sit back and watch it happen? <sighs> Weren't you listening, my boy? I said whatever the cost. Your Excellency, you can't feel the same way. The line of God Emperors is due to the remnants. Who are we to stand in the way of the Conqueror's wishes? Hear this, Marquis of Athlum. Hereafter, no one shall hinder the Conqueror. Any who go against his goals shall be branded a traitor. Go, and inform the Congress at once. You will abide by our command, Marquis. <laughs> 